Jessica with Apartment Barcelona. Today we are here at La Sagrada Familia, Barcelona's greatest architectural wonder that is still under construction after 100 years. It is not only Barcelona's greatest tourist attraction, but it sets the city apart from the rest of Europe. Let's go inside and check out Barcelona's most defining landmark. The history of the church dates back to 1877 when a devout organization bought a plot in the new Exchample district to mark the end of dechristianization starting with industrialization and increasing wealth of the city. Actual construction of the church began in 1882 by architects Boca Bea and Villar who led the project of the church until 1884 when they ran into disputes. Then, the famous Catalan architect Antonio Gaudi took over construction at age 31 and would devote the rest of his life to the project until his death 40 years later. He completely changed the original design of the church with a modernist style based on forms of nature. The construction was interrupted in 1935 because of lack of funds and the breakout of the Spanish Civil War. During the war, Catalan anarchists destroyed many of the models and designs Gaudi left behind after his death. But luckily, the church still stood after the war, whereas most churches were burnt down. Construction of Sagrada Familia started back up in the 1950s and is still being worked on today. The Sagrada Familia is actually an expiatory church, meaning that it was entirely built by donations from the outset, which is why its financing has remained totally private. The Sagrada Familia actually has a cross-shaped layout, 95 meters long and 60 meters wide, with a capacity for 13,000 people. The Basilica also obtains three facades, one dedicated to the passion and death of Christ, another being the Nativity facade, celebrating the birth of Jesus, and the Glory facade. Visit this unfinished masterpiece that characterizes Barcelona's 